Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So obviously we've been talking a lot about DaVinci Resolve 16 lately and Blackmagic has just released beta three for the software. So we're gonna jump in, quickly show you how to upgrade if that's something you wanna do and follow up with, should you upgrade? All right, so jumping into DaVinci Resolve, it's very easy to upgrade. You literally, it's not gonna tell you that it's available, so just keep that in mind, but it is available. So you just go to the top left, DaVinci Resolve, and you go check for updates. Now it's gonna go through and make sure it's fully updated. Obviously I have updated to beta three already, but if it didn't, it would just come up with a, would you like to download page with a couple of the changes in beta three. You click okay, and then it'll take you to a download page on the internet. It will start downloading immediately and then you install it as if you're installing any bit of other software. Alternatively, you can just go to the Blackmagic website. So you go to the internet browser, go to Blackmagic Design. It'll be on the homepage where it says introducing DaVinci Resolve 16. You click on the free download public beta and this is the exact same file that it downloads had you just gone through the software itself. So you're gonna get the exact same file no big issue there and you just install it as if you're installing a normal program. So that is how you upgrade to beta three. Now let's talk about should you. So I've been running DaVinci Resolve 16 beta one now for about a month or so ever since it came out basically. And I haven't really had any major breaking issues with the software. Now I do know a lot of people out there have had problems where they just can't use it at all. And that's why we always recommend when testing out beta software to keep a backup of the original main software, so DaVinci Resolve 15, uh, for any major projects that you are working on because, you know, betas are unstable. So the biggest problem that I seem to have that is kind of not really fixed in this one is the waveforms for the audio disappearing randomly. Now you can see here that this is meant to have audio, but it's just not showing up, but then it shows up for the one down below. So like it, it's still hit and miss. Uh, hopefully they do fix that soon. That is something there that I still notice, um, but it comes and goes. One thing that is greatly improved is the cut page. If you've seen my first video on DaVinci Resolve 16 on the cut video, I'll link card up above. If you want to check that one out, I'll go into more detail. I just, I hated it. Right, there was a lot of things wrong with it. I didn't upgrade to beta two because I figured beta one was fine at the time. But with beta three, I can almost edit a full video in the cut page. I actually really like it. I might do a follow-up video because obviously they are fixing a lot of things. It's still not perfect. Uh, I still had trouble getting this second audio track here. I had to actually go into the edit page, drop it down below. And then I, like if I'm trying to you know, scrub down there, I can't even check it out, which is, you know, it's sort of annoying, but anyway, it's there. And I actually really like the cut page for making quick edits now. And I edited this video, which will be up soon, uh, probably in a couple of days. And I edited the majority of it in the cut page. So it's definitely getting better. But as you can see, if I go back to the main edit page, you know, the waveform is just not there. But performance wise, the software is great. It hasn't crashed on me, so it's pretty stable. Hopefully, you know, I still recommend running 15 if you really need stability, but give it a crack. I'm not having any issues really, which is fantastic. And I think beta three is where the majority of the large bugs have already been fixed. It's the smaller ones now. So if you want to jump into DaVinci Resolve 16, I think now is the time. Again, follow the advice at the start of this video if you want to try it out. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it guys hit that thumbs up button down below leave a comment in the comment section on things you want to see especially if it's davinci resolve 16 related i can delve into it like i said the cut page i might do a follow-up video on because it's definitely gotten better since beta one anyway guys till the next video see ya